Hi everyone, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. I hope you feel safe and welcome here. So today I will be recommending to you guys a few cozy books that I just feel so warm and happy. They just make me smile while I'm reading them. Most of the books I'm going to show here are very, are quite short actually. Not a lot of these books are pretty long because um, something that I notice a lot in cozy books to me is that they're very quick, low angst, and just light, you know? Um, other thing that I will say is that if you want the full cozy atmosphere of these books, you can definitely try listening to them with a little bit of sound on the background, like an atmospheric playlist. Um, there are a bunch of videos here on YouTube. They have a very great classic music selection. My two favorites are the Pride and Prejudice soundtrack, like the ambience sounds, and a playlist that's called I Told the Stars About You. That playlist is beautiful in the comment sections. There are a bunch of stories on the comment section and when you read them while you're, you're listening to the music, it just makes me very emotional, you know? But yeah, let's go to the books. The first one is An Enchantment of Ravens by Margaret Rogerson. This is a book about Isabel and Rook. Isabel is an artist. Rook commissions a painting of himself to Isabel since she's a very well-known and talented professional. And during those painting sessions where like Rook is there posing, she sees something in his eyes and she can't really portray that into the painting. So she decides to paint his eyes with tears which makes him look very vulnerable and he's just pissed because of that. Since he's a fake king, he can't show any type of weaknesses so he takes her back to his kingdom to pay for her crime, showing him like that it's a crime. Honestly, their romance, it's so cute, sweet, fluffy. The atmosphere of this book, it's so magical and their their journey to the kingdom they pass through this forest and there are all these magical creatures there are a lot of people who don't like this book because i don't i don't think that it has a very intricate plot or nothing really uh shocking happens this is just a very chill book with a little bit of romance and magic and two people falling in love i think it's so beautiful and it's very simple and i gave this four stars because it was so cute next one it's the blood spell by cg redwine i'll be honest with you guys and say that i bought this for the cover because I thought it was beautiful and when I saw that this was a Cinderella retelling I went crazy and I had to have this. This is one of the thicker guys I was talking about. The story is so simple and fluid that you're not even going to feel the amount of pages that this has. So this is about Blue. Blue has been hiding her magic. Uh, for a long time because it's forbidden in her kingdom. She has this very cute apothecary shop and this book also has a lot of food so it's always a bonus for me. Blue has known this prince Caleb since she was a little girl but she was always the one to tell on him and kind of spoil his fun so they didn't really like each other. But when her father is murdered and a random woman appears out of nowhere saying that she was her mother's best friend and she is supposed to protect her and her property is now hers, she asks for Kaylin's help and they still have this idea of when they were kids and they don't like each other. But when Kaylin starts helping her, and they spend more time together knowing each other you know these this other version of each other they're more mature now they're older they become very good friends because they see that 
they have a lot in common it becomes this beautiful fluffy romance i just love this so much it also has mystery and a lot of magic i love the magical element in this it also has this cute cottagecore vibe so yeah next one it's it happened one autumn by lisa klepes lisa klepes is one of my favorite authors ever i love her heroes and her historical romance is are so good i wanted to start by saying that this book it's the second book on the wallflower series but you can totally read this one without spoiling the other book there really aren't a lot of spoilers on this one and i'll be honest with you guys and say that this one, the second, and the third one are my favorites, so I don't think you're gonna be losing a lot if you don't read the first book and read this one first. Like, don't skip the first book because it's still good, but this one, it's so, so amazing. This is about Lillian. Lillian moved to England with her sister to find a husband, but they always scare guys away, especially Lillian, because she's a very headstrong girl and she's very honest. She really does speak what she thinks. That's why when Lord West that's why when Lord Westcliff is with her, he always gets in a fight it's very fun to watch since the first book like on the ending of the first book they already know each other and it's kind of a hate love relationship but they don't really hate each other you know they're just strongly dislike each other but when they have this passionate encounter on the gardens he just gets obsessed with her and he sees how attractive she is and how much their personalities match that's why maybe they don't like each other so much because they look like each other he's known for being this very cold guy but when he's next to her he's not that cold anymore he's just a very passionate guy westcliff has this fascination with butterflies he's very intelligent he has a beautiful garden full of butterflies and flowers and it just sounds so magical and just the fact that this is set in autumn it's cozy so fourth one i think it's the fourth one it's the duchess deal by tessa dare uh this book it was so good i read this in one afternoon and i just couldn't stop reading it especially the audiobook it's very very funny so this is a beauty and the beast retelling we have the duke of ashbury he just came back from the war and he's not only physically scarred he's also psychologically scarred he was actually engaged uh but when he came back from the war his wife she threw up she just couldn't look at his face and see his scars so because of that he's very insecure about him but he still wants an heir so for that he needs a wife and he finds the perfect one when emma just breaks into his library dressed in a wedding gown he has a few rules for that marriage to work and he doesn't really want uh, a friend anything he just doesn't want any contact with her because you know he's a scarred hero he doesn't want to be next to her but it's a romance book so we know he will so he has these rules that are basically meant to keep her distant from him but she also has her rules but each day that passes she can't help but fall deeper in love with him because she really sees the man behind all this hard cold facade that he puts on every day he was just so hurt and he doesn't want it to happen again so he just pretends that he doesn't have any feelings this was honestly so beautiful and funny i just loved tessadeus writing on this book so if you haven't read it yet and you like historical romances definitely give this one a go so guys those were the books we have a little bit of fantasy historical romance contemporary romance but all of them just make me feel good and cozy safe happy that's why they're all on this list so make sure to give them a go you know just to make you feel happy but yeah those were the books i hope you guys like this video if you want to see more of my content please make sure to subscribe like this video 
it would help me a lot. And yeah guys, I will see you on the next one. Bye bye.